Aldine ISD. Two students are heartbroken and asking why would someone kill their FFA animals? What a terrible story for these students. They say they found their show turkey stabbed to death inside the district's barn just this morning. ABC 13's Charlie Etz, he's live now from where all of this happened on Veterans Memorial and Frick Road. Charlie, what do we know here? Oh, it's just so awful, Jacob. And we actually spoke with one of the students affected by this, and she was almost in tears telling us about it. Now, what we know right now is that at least 15 turkeys were found dead by their the student uh, owners earlier this morning, and it all happened here at this barn on the north side of Houston. And I believe we have some Sky I-13 footage that will give you a good aerial perspective. And by the way, this is also the day that the district's FFA livestock show is also set to begin, so just adding to more of the hurt here. Now it sounds like the students arrived early this morning here to the barn and found all of those dead turkeys and the school district says that they are aware of what happened and their police department is now handling the investigation. Uh, investigators have been out here on the scene for several hours and uh, will be providing additional security to make sure that none of the other animals inside of that barn uh, face any kind of threats. Now one of the students impacted her name is Michelle Rodriguez. She tells us that she got here to the barn around 645 this morning and found that two of her turkeys were dead and she says that she worked incredibly hard to get those animals ready for this livestock show. It means a lot to me. So for it to just be ruined in one single day, it just I can't believe this at all. And we also spoke to the mother of a student, Olivia Higby. You can see those photos of Olivia up on your screen. Now, this mother's daughter says that the mother tells us that her daughter was at the barn until 7 o'clock last night. And this mom also says she heard a teacher was also at the barn until 930. So it sounds like this all happened sometime overnight. Uh, but nonetheless, 13 of Olivia's turkeys were killed. That's a huge loss. That's pretty much that's all of them, I believe. And Olivia found them all this morning and could not stop crying. Whoever had killed them had stabbed them and then covered them with shavings and then had gone to her pen, which is back in the corner of the barn, and killed the rest of them. And then it also had attacked her friends. I think it was two of her friends' turkeys as well. And due to this, her friend can't even show her turkeys either because of investigation. Oh, just so incredibly devastating. And so both of these young women uh, estimate that their losses are around at least $1,000, most likely even more than that, because it costs so much money to obtain all of these animals in the first place and then to feed them and raise them. And both of these young women were planning on using their earnings towards their college fund, and they are completely out of all that money, unfortunately. And so right now the investigation continues into who may have done this. So, of course, if you have any information, you're urged to contact the Aldine ISD Police Department. Charlie Edsity, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Oh.